What's happening guys? Pokemon Unwrapped here and welcome back. Today we'll be opening up this brand new Vaporeon tin. Uh, now I got this from the Pokemon Center. I think it was between 11 and 12 bucks, something like that. Sounds about right. Uh, but there is a Jolteon, Flareon, and Vaporeon uh, tin variation. I've got all three, so we'll be opening up the other two later on. Uh, I thought Vaporeon... I don't know why I wanted to open up Vaporeon. I just, it was either going to be Jolteon or Vaporeon, to tell you the truth, but Vaporeon was the first one that I grabbed. I'm like, it. Yeah, good as any, right? Um, I think out of the three, I always liked Jolteon um, when I was younger. Uh, Jolteon was always like, I think, mm. what I leaned to more. It was always a very hard card for me to get as well. So, just give me a quick second to get these packs out of here. Looks like there's only three packs compared to four packs in the larger tins. Here is a size comparison for the tin. So, this is a normal tin. Usually comes with um, four booster packs. Here is uh, this Vaporeon tin. It's a lot thinner. Um, but it's pretty cool. Pretty neat. It's still all metal. Looks like it would be plastic, but it's not. It's still a tin. All right, and it looks like we have a Vaporeon Hollow Uncommon from Ancient Origins. Cool. So I'm going to have to put this in my master set for Ancient Origins. I actually have two complete master sets for Ancient Origins, so yikes. I might have to buy another set of these Evolution tins. And uh, the booster packs that we get. Looks like we have Fates Collide, Ancient Origins, and Roaring Skies. Cool, so we're going back into XY series. Um, let's do Fates Collide, Roaring Skies, and we're going to do Ancient Origins last, only because this uh, Vaporeon card came from Ancient Origins. Makes sense, right? Right. I thought so. Here's the code card. Thank you so much for watching. Let's see if we can get anything out of three packs from a Vaporeon tin. Fennekin. And um, usually, you know, tins come with that EX promo card. Of course, this did not. Wismer, Mincino, Gothita, Solosis, Altaria, Spirit Link, Chaos Tower, Weezing, Mr. Mime, that is a reverse holographic rare. Okay, cool. Nice, and a Lucario hollow rare. So we double hollow rare pack. I like that. Let's leave them up real quick. And move on to Roaring Skies. Here we go. We got Wurmple, Ninkata, Binnacle, Spiro, Dunsparce, Wally, Dustox. I'm laughing because Roaring Skies is pretty much nothing but leaf and colorless Pokemon. Winona, Fletchender, Reverse Holographic, yeah, it's actually a fire type, and a Clef Key Rare. Wow, that is a magnificent card. No, it's not. Not really. All right, Ancient Origins. Come on, baby. Show me the goodies. Please. This was one of my favorite sets uh, from XY, and I was pretty bummed out that they reprinted it and completely destroyed any value uh, to Ancient Origins. It pretty much cut anything in half, at least. So we had Persian, Eevee, Unknown, NK. Magikarp, be cool if we got a Vaporeon. Uh, Lysander. Yep, that just happened. So, we'll set that to the side. Um, <laughs> pouring on to Wooper Reverse Holloway. And our last card of the video is a Vespaqueen Rare. Um, so, that Fates Collide's pack. Fates Collide. Was the best one, of course. And then the other two packs were pretty much stinky doo-doo. Uh, but yeah. So, 
this is the only way you're going to get this holographic Vaporeon because since it's an uncommon, um, the way uncommons work, there will be a non-holographic version and a reverse holographic version. So again, this is the only way to get the actual holographic version. All right, so as for poles, we got these two uh, hollow rares, and that's pretty much it. And of course, the Vaporeon. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stick around, plenty more coming up. It's Pokemon Unwrapped, and you guys have a great rest of your day. See you on the next one. Be sure to stay tuned for the Jolteon and Flareon tins, which I hope to open up for you guys very soon.